Hey there everybody and welcome back. For those of you that are looking to find a good software utility to monitor various elements of your computer, including your CPU, GPU, maybe some of your thermals, things of that nature, stay tuned. I'm covering five different tools in today's video. Now before we get started, don't forget to like and subscribe and check out the channel for new content. All right, so we're going to be making this video very, very quickly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the download links to each of these. Prior to that, I do want to preface by saying I'm not in any way affiliated with any of these companies. So download these at your own risk. For example, one of these that I downloaded did set off Avast, which is an antivirus program. Again, it's entirely up to you which you download. I'll rate them all and put uh, one of the more popular ones at the very end. So we're starting out with HW Info. And then we will jump into GPU-Z, and then we will go to Open Hardware Monitor. We will be close to wrapping up with this CPU ID tool, and then we will finish up with one of the more popular, which is MSI Afterburner. So again, I'll put links to each of these, and I was able to download all of them for free. So just to show you an example, I have one over here on the left and one over here on the right. But I'm going to go ahead and close everything so that I can show you starting from scratch these are the five and I do have them set up and kind of grouped together. So we'll start out with HW info, which is the first link in the description. So when we open up this program and we click start, we'll get this little system configuration, basically just a loading screen. And then usually it won't take too long. And then you'll load a page like this and I'm going to ignore the update. So you have three separate windows. It is a little clunky in my opinion, but overall it's kind of cool. So you have this top window, which if we focus on this one for a moment, it kind of reminds me of some of the software that's already included in Windows that you can kind of view different pieces of information, including your uh, basically just like various sensors. So I'm not going to go into too much detail on each of these. I just want to cover them at a high level because I don't think people really use them for everything that they're intended for. But as you can see, there's quite a bit of monitoring stuff here. And then you have the ability to go through different elements of your computer. I'm not really worried about that right now. We're gonna look at this next screen here so you can see more information on your CPU. And one of the cool things is as you're kind of scrolling through, you do have the ability on some of these different utilities. There is an option to click and basically view that product online, which is kind of a cool thing to do if you wanna look it up, if you're interested. So that's everything on this. And then we have this little uh, CPU monitor that gets stuck over here as well. So we will close that one. That's just HW info at a very, very quick glance. Now we'll open up this GPU one. I can't remember if this is the one, so we'll see in just a second. So this is not the one that was setting off of Ast. So this is a more simple utility. And I misspoke when I mentioned HW info. I don't believe it has a lookup function. It's GPU Z that does. So you'll see we have the name of my CPU. And if I click look up, it will bring up the tech power up site. So we have some pretty basic stuff that we can look at here with some additional options down here at the bottom. So pretty cool overall. You can click here <clears throat> to see a little bit more information and launch. Um, you'll see we have this GPU Z installer. So pretty basic stuff. And if I'm not mistaken, these two options here they will allow you to run from a simple file uh, so you don't have to install. You may need to double check. Now, I believe this is the one that set off of Ast, so you may hear it, but you may not see the pop-up. So when I try to run it, you'll hear, I don't know if you can see the Avast pop-up, but you can hear it blocked a vulnerable driver. Again, that doesn't necessarily mean this program is unsafe, but I believe that, uh, I think that's why CPU and temperature clocking is not running as expected. But basically we have this open hardware monitor option. So you'll see we have a couple of options here. And then we have this file option to submit reports and save reports. But basically you have a pretty standard utility that just shows what's going on with your device. Now we'll open up CPU ID, their HW monitor utility. So when we open this one, <clears throat> we get our prompt to run it. And then as this utility opens up, you'll see pretty quickly, I think this is a, it's a pretty solid interface overall, but it does seem to be kind of slow to load. So we'll see if it's maybe minimized to tray, which it doesn't appear to be.
and now we have it loaded so it does take a little bit longer and it looks pretty similar to the previous one that we were just using the open hardware monitor so you'll see we have a pretty basic series of menus up top and then if you wanted to you could view the dark theme so pretty pretty basic stuff here um, but you can see temperatures cpus uh, options airflow section right here which shows basically just the thermals so some pretty cool stuff i'm not using this on a gaming pc it's just a basic laptop so you can imagine that these lists will probably expand a bit on most of these utilities if you're using a machine that has more capabilities and then saving the most common for last is msi afterburner now the reason i'm saving this one for last and just for those of you that are trying to use it I'm going to walk through that in just a moment, but this is the one that you see on most videos where people are recording gameplay and they have a little window that shows the specs for their machine. So to set this up, when you install Afterburner, you also will get something called Riva Tuner Statistics, which is an option that's right here. You'll see right here we have a couple of basic pieces of information, so I've enabled on-screen display and have a couple of settings that I've set, including this option right here just to kind of set the look and feel and then when we go into our monitoring settings under monitoring you can click each option and basically down here you see there's a show on screen display and when you've selected all the ones you want to see you can click apply and okay the last thing to note is for these settings you will need to set up the on-screen display setting and this on-screen display is how you toggle it on or off using these keys here. So now to show what this looks like, what we can do is type in game, and we'll just open up a default game like Solitaire, and you'll see we have this window up here with our GPU, CPU, and we'll ignore that pop-up. But basically we have the GPU and CPU here, and then um, you'll have the ability to kind of toggle settings, or as you can see, it's now hidden, now it's back, so I'm just using this toggles that we set earlier. So you'll see we have the settings that we've selected appearing in the on-screen display there. So I hope that was helpful. Again, I'll have all the links in the description. Let me know your thoughts. Again, download at your own risk. Let me know if this was helpful, what your favorite tools are, or maybe if I missed one. And I'll see you all in the next video.